in this creepy, sleepy, backward town, the monsters gather all around. Stay awake. Stay awake. Come with me as you imagine that you are a little girl living in the woods with the dad that is capable of murder. And he would bring women home and you had witnessed as a child your dad stomping on a woman's head until she passed away in front of your eyes. And you knew what came next is helping your dad take these dead women out into the woods, throwing their bodies down a well, then being forced to pour lie on their bodies. You were fearful if you spoke up that you would end up the same way. When you finally would get the courage to speak, your dad would tell people you were just crazy. And it was such an outrageous story, nobody would believe you anyway. Do you continue to speak up or do you just try to push those memories back because they were just way too painful? Well, Lucy Studi never would do as her daddy, Donald Dean Studi, asked and continues the fight she believes in to uncover all the victims and officially lay them to rest. Lucy has been saying since she was a small girl that her dad could be the most prolific serial killer ever. I have the latest info on this case, and you don't want to miss it. So join me, Holly, in the murder she shed, the place we honor the dead right from my she shed. Hit that sexy subscribe button. And come join me weekly, right here, little me, right in my she shed. You know you want to be here. Don't miss out. Usually two times weekly. All right, let's begin. It is definitely an odd case that only gets honor. On Tuesday, December 6, 2022, authorities did arrive in Thurman, Iowa and search the land after Lucy allegedly told the police that her father was a prolific serial killer who murdered up to 70 women and ordered his children to partake in covering up their bodies. Which, if you want to know more details about that, then just check out my first video I did a month or two ago. I did contact Lucy before the dig happened and sent her a link to my first video, which she actually requested. Uh, she didn't want to really give any extra details out to me. She was said she's only speaking to one news source at the time, which I can't blame her. I mean, it could get really crazy if you just let everybody interview you or speak to you. But I did ask if, if I could interview her. She's kind of a private person. She wants to stay kind of private. So... I'm all for that. I do have a bit of additional information we will get to in a second. After an exhaustive search for evidence, no human remains were found. Although Lucy claims they were digging in the wrong area, authorities didn't make clear whether funding or harsh weather conditions played into the decision to end or suspend the probe. Three cadaver dogs going separately had alerted to potential remains on the sites when they were used by law enforcement in October and November. In addition, law enforcement sources working the case told Newsweek that Lucy Studi's story remained mostly constant and seemed credible. Also through relatives, law enforcement officials and records, it was found Donald Studi was tied at a low level to organized crime, mostly in the Omaha area. But a witness who watched the excavation efforts this week questioned how exhaustive the search really was. The witness stated that they only core drilled one well, taking three deep samples of soil to be inspected for remains, and they excavated one potential shallow grave. No other cadaver dogs were used during the investigation Tuesday and Wednesday. Lucy said the right whale to search was actually the dry whale, and they searched the wet whale that was on a different hill altogether. In October, when two dogs going separately scented potential remains in at least nine spots, a third dog was on site in November alerting at similar locations, but 
showing a greater interest in the area of the dry well where Lucy says the bodies are. But they did not dig. Lucy was supposed to be polygraphed before the dig, but the FBI actually stood her up. Lucy said she plans to continue the well excavation efforts until the day she dies, saying she will never give up whether she does it with or without authorities' help. According to Lucy, Donald Dean Studi was in the Army, but he went AWOL and had to serve time for it. He also has 10 kids and had been married four times. Lucy said that he was abusive to all his wives. One of his girlfriends, he tried to cut the brake lines to her car. He got caught and was charged. He told one of his wives while he was married to her, I got away with killing one wife. I can do it again. Also, if you watched my last video, two of his wives supposedly committed suicide. Could he have murdered them? Could Lucy be telling the truth and the poor dig job and the canceled lie detector test is because authorities don't want to pay the expenses, nor do they want the paperwork. Plus, they would have to admit that they had dropped the ball all those years ago. Because of authorities quitting the search, Lucy had a mental breakdown and was admitted for a 72-hour watch but she seems to be doing fine now and says she refuses to give up on finding these bodies and getting them home to their families. Lucy has been talking and planning with several individuals and company who are willing to help her perform a new dig on the correct hill. She said they plan on starting the dig after the holidays or in the spring when the ground warms up. The dry well is on a man's land named Sean, and Sean has given them permission to dig. Sean's dad used to own the land, and Lucy says that the bodies were put on his land so that Sean's dad would be blamed. Donald Dean Studi thought it would be funny. She said, if you see any fundraisers from the dig, do not give them money. They are fake accounts, and she will be pocketing the out-of-pocket expenses for the dig herself. I can't imagine her putting her own money into this if it wasn't true. She also says that she will be doing no movie deals, book deals, or profit from this in any way. She just wants the bodies found. I hope, whether it is true or not, Lucy is able to find the peace she needs. I hope one day we know the answer to this deep mystery. I just wanted to give you guys an update on this case. And the other one I did, I dropped two really quick here. The other case I did an update on was The Boy in the Box. So you can check that one out as well if you want. And I thank you guys for all the support on my channel. I've been got, getting several new subscribers lately. And I thank y'all. Y'all are such a blessing to me. I'm trying to drop another case in maybe a day or two, so we'll see if I can get to that one. Y'all just be a blessing to others, and I will leave you with a little Simon. Who doesn't love a good Simon? And oh, by the way, I did go back to check on that bunny I wanted that my husband said I shouldn't get because the dogs will kill. I went back because the next day I still really wanted him, and then already sold him. My heart was broken. That's how it is, right? Oh, well, maybe he wasn't meant for me after all. I thought he was. But now my heart is set on a bunny, so we'll see. I'm thinking about building some sort of cage first. Really cute little cage. I love to build, and so maybe I'll attempt that before I even think about. But I think I'm going to get two bunnies because I don't want him to be lonely. Like I need any more animals, but, you know, I love animals. I just love them. Here comes my baby boy. There's that baby boy. You get that baby. Oh, there's another baby boy. I got a surprise baby boy. I didn't know you were outside. But you're in the house on the couch. So Max and Simon. If y'all have, if you're new, kind of new, the German Shepherd is Simon. He's a big old baby. And then Max is my other big old baby. He's a lab, a red lab. And then I got Buddy in the house, who's a yellow lab. Yeah. Alright, bye, I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed week.